On a show of hands, who here has ever ridden a Tesla? A Tesla. Who ever? A Tesla. It's interesting to see how many of us did. We'll get back to that later. I am passionate about technology. I love it. It's everything. I believe that it's going to fix all of our problems in the future and definitely going to help us out. For me, it's very important to share three different stories that connect me to technology directly. I will start. I was on vacation with my, two of my close friends, David and Ellie, and we wanted to go get a Pokeball, but my parents didn't want to take us for whatever reason, so we decided to take an Uber there. We ate, we had a great dinner, and then we wanted to head back home. It was definitely a night to remember. I ordered the next Uber, and what happened? An Uber Tesla came up. They did not believe me. They wanted me, I showed them the screen, and after that, we started all jumping up and down like we were little kids. It felt like it was, if it was Disneyland and we were about to ride the best roller coaster in the world. After that, the, the Uber took five minutes to get there, but it felt like hours. We couldn't wait for it to come. Finally, it got there. We, we, got, on the, we got on the car and we started to ask all sorts of questions to this guy. And he couldn't believe how excited we were to ride in a Tesla. I actually felt a legit connection to him because of how much questions I made him about his job, his car, and even his personal life. We were five minutes into the drive, and, and the driver all of a sudden took his hands off the steering wheel and feet off the pedals. I cannot believe it. It was definitely a shocking moment for me. I loved every, every single second of that ride because of how exciting it was. It was so different to actually write on it than to even hear or read about it. I definitely loved it, and it was definitely a story that will keep in me forever. Second story is that my, friend, my dad's friend Claudio owns a Tesla, and I really wanted to drive a Tesla. So this past summer, my dad asked him if I could, and he said, of course. It was going to be an amazing moment. When I finally got to the moment, I had a smile from ear to ear. I cannot believe it, that I was actually going to be in the driver's seat of this car. We were five minutes into the drive, and Claudio told me to take my hands off the steering wheel and pedals. So I took them off, waiting for something to happen. But the, the car actually started to shift to the left, and we had a car right behind us. So at that moment, I hesitated to take, the, to take control of the car because I trusted the car more than my gut, and my dad was telling me to do it, and I trusted the car more than my dad. To this moment, I cannot believe that I did that. I wish that I would have grabbed the steering wheel earlier because it, it hesitated. After that, I realized that if I didn't grab that steering wheel, at that moment, I would have crashed against another car. It would have been horrible. I would have probably never driven the Tesla again. After that, nothing happened thanks to that car that slowed down. But then I had the amazing experience to sit right next to a steering wheel that drives itself. I could definitely not believe it and was super excited. The third story is that I recently had a trip to Silicon Valley with my school and we went to a company called Zooks. It was a company that's making a car without any steering wheels or any pedals. Yeah, you heard that right. No steering wheel, no pedals, there is no way to react to a situation in that moment. If the car is about to crash, you have no control over the car. It was crazy for us. My friend Moses started to ask some questions about ethical dilemmas, but the workers there could not really explain to us everything because of the confidential and stuff. But it was an interesting moment for me to see that these cars could affect the way that we are going into new ethical dilemmas. The technology is bringing us new standards that we need to make. So what would you do? Would you blame the driver? There's no driver. Would you blame the owner of the car? Or would you blame the software designer? I think that for this technology to come to the, to the world, there needs to be first stated what's right and what's wrong. Who should be blamed for what? Because in the future, maybe one day, you'll buy an autonomous car, and they'll blame you for something the software did. What does a 17-year-old from Mexico really want? I want to have a great life. 
I want to live freely and happy, and maybe one day have kids that can have a great life. I think that technology will help us solve problems like global warming that are major. And one day, I think that making an impact on people is most important for me. I think that people in this room are going to be able to make an impact. I believe so. I believe that we are the generation that is going to inspire and change the world, for sure. Here are some quotes that I really like because of how much I like to think about the future. I like to think about how we're going to innovate, how we're going to create companies, and how we are going to be able to change the world. Thank you. I am Leon Kasky.